Witch and Trevor, written by Beryl and narrated by Beryl. Witch was a poodle dog with short curly hair. Trevor was his young master and they made a good pair. Witch would guide Trevor when crawling, keeping watchful eye on him lying on the ground. Trevor's mum was close by but worried none. She knew Butch would see no harm came to her son. When going on picnics with children from town, Butch was first in the car and turned his eyes down. Gwen gathered the children from a day full of fun. Over the logs and the gullies they would run. What happy days to be had by all, chasing wild pigs, playing with the ball. Our chops on the coals, the billy hangs low. When sun is setting, it's time to go. We covered the fire, making sure it was out. Picked up the garbage, children scouting about. Heading home, what sad faces we see. Trevor, Butch, Kenny, Mandy, Amos, Gwenny, Julie and me. And that was about my grandson, Trevor, who had a little poodle dog called Butch. But Butch was like a little guard dog. He, he was with Trevor, by Trevor's side all the time. And he, when, he, when he got in the car, he said, look down on the floor, make out. He thought we couldn't see him in the car if he was first in the car. Yeah. When we go on picnics. Right. So he said, put his head down, make out, we couldn't see him. <laughs> so he, he was hiding from us. But no, it was good to have the dog around because if any danger came to the kids, the little dog would bark and get, get help straight away. Did you have any favourite picnic spots? Yeah, down through. the river, around the river bends and up and on the old mission at the Billabongs. Yeah, they go catching fish and yabbies and things like that. Or chasing the little cat rabbits and things around up on the hill, hills. How did the river look at that time? Oh, it was beautiful then. Much better than what it is today. <laughs>